Welcome to the XML Exchange Development video tutorial using the Content Assembly Mechanism Toolkit. Today, we'll show you how the toolkit enables you to design, author, deploy, and monitor the use of an XML exchange by applying the National Information Exchange Model Approach, or NEAM. The Content Assembly Mechanism Toolkit provides direct control of an XML exchange by managing the XML structure, defining XML rules, and automating the exchange documentation. Over the next few minutes, we'll walk you through designing an XML exchange using the Hospital Availability Exchange, or HAVE example. Our demonstration will begin by ingesting an XML schema and adding new components to improve the exchange design. After modifying the exchange, we'll author additional design rules and export the new schema. Using the new schema, we will then generate test XML examples, validate the exchange design, and deploy the tests. For the deployment, we will show monitoring of results and generating reference documentation and models. We begin designing our XML exchange by ingesting the original OASIS HAVE schema with a CAM toolkit. The import wizard requires us to define the root folder location and HAVE schema file name. If the have schema was a web service collection, we would use the asterisk to define the root element. However, since our example is a specific exchange, we can choose the root element hospital status. After ingesting the XSD schema, we save the resulting CAM template and review the console log. Here we can see all the details of the ingestion process and confirm the ingestion completed successfully. Next, we turn our focus to the CAM Structure Viewer and analyze the EMS Air Transport section and its components. To the right of the Structure Viewer, we can see the Dictionaries tool and the core NEAM elements associated with the dictionary. With a single click, we can search within the dictionary for all references to the word aircraft and view the results. After selecting the aircraft details element, we will set the selection control to copy only selected elements. This removes child elements from future authoring actions, so when we drag and drop the aircraft details element into schema, only that element is copied. This setting holds true for multi-selection drag and drop actions as well. Notice that with each operation, rules are added automatically to items from the dictionary definitions. We'll complete our editing process by removing the find filter and selecting several child elements from the aircraft base airport dictionary item. Next, we must rename the parent element and remove the namespace prefix to align with the overall have structure. After that, we use the Quick Rules menu to make the aircraft details element repeatable. This will allow more than one aircraft in an exchange. Now we can begin our authoring review using the Template Evaluation tool. The tool generates an exchange report that highlights the statistics of the exchange, the exchange naming and design rules, any exchange issues and warnings, and finally, an exchange spelling review. This report allows developers to fine-tune the exchange details and ensure that the desired exchange quality is achieved. When our review is completed, we export the template as XSD schema. The export wizard provides options for developers to choose from including both NEAM and OASIS profiles. Each profile will tailor schema folders and copyright notices to suit project requirements. When our export completes, we can review the generated extension schema, and we see that the export contains the new aircraft details NEAM components, rules, and content models we added. 
Since our output looks good, we can now create some realistic test examples and run the examples against the exchange. But before we test, some elements like organization accounts need to be removed from the XML structure. To exclude high-level elements like this, the Quick Rule menu can be leveraged. To locate other exclusions, the Find tool enables easy access to lower level structural items. In this case, we're looking for the GORSS coordinate values. When the lower level XML elements are located, the Quick Rule menu can be utilized once again to exclude a single element or set a global exclude rule that will use XPath to exclude all matching items. After we exclude all the required elements, we'll begin adding realistic data hint values. By clicking the Add Value tab, we can specify the data hints for the aircraft tail ID element. When our hints are added, we can export the XML as a series of test cases. The Export Wizard provides control of a variety of XML generation options. We will take the defaults and generate three XML files populated with random values, then drill into the first example. After reviewing the XML, we'll run the CAM template validation engine against the XML file and monitor the results. As the XML is validated, the console and run results windows will present errors or warnings. Once completed, we can generate and save the exchange documentation. In addition, a mind map modeling engine, along with Argo UML and XMI UML model export tools, is available for documentation purposes. The components we've shown in this tutorial are explicitly needed to support the NEEM approach to XML exchange development. The CAM Toolkit enables and simplifies production of the entire NEEM IEPD package as part of an exchange development project. This completes the tutorial. For more information and downloads, you can visit the CAM Project Resource website on SourceForge.net.